This is Kathleen at My Alabama Farm Life and we have our Christmas tree down, everything is off the mantle, and now it's time to get it stored downstairs in the basement. While we're down here in the basement, I can also show you a few of the little treasures that we have hidden down here. Some of them that I, I know about and some things that are a surprise to me that I have forgotten about. But this video, I'm going to go ahead and use for the Hashtag Declutter Challenge 24, and this is put on by Susan at Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I want to thank Susan for hosting this challenge, and it is an open challenge. Anyone can participate. All right, it's time to start organizing and decluttering. I have actually already pulled a couple of things out of here. Um, in my previous video, you saw where I pulled out a bunch of um, five gallon buckets and a container that I was storing some of my emergency food supplies. I also pulled out two large containers that have my husband's old clothes in it and another box that has some old material because I'm looking because I'm going to be making a quilt for my grandson here soon. He is six months old, it's way past due. He needs a baby blanket, and so uh, that's another project that I've got to get started on. But first, let's look at this little treasure that I have hidden on my shelves. It's actually a pitcher with some cups. It's for orange juice. I have no use for it, but I still continue to keep it on the shelves. Maybe one of these holidays I'll pull it out, wash it, and we shall use it. Who knows? Right now I'm trying to find a spot for this pillow and I found a little section right there, but then I found this box and it is full of rat traps. These are the heavy duty ones, guys. We have tried to use these, but these are actually really dangerous. I need to get some of the small ones. But I finally found a space to put this pillow. This actually belongs to a quilt set that is up top and it was, I guess the pillow was up there, but somebody pulled it down or it fell down. And then as I go further down on the shelves, I found these boxes. Um, these are my boxes. I'm not gonna open them. I have them marked, thankfully, but these are my dolls and my collector bears. And then in the other box are keepsakes and pictures. And hopefully my room will be uh, done soon and I'll be able to pull these out and show them to you. But for right now, they're gonna go back on the shelf. Now in this bottom tote are some of my quilt things. And again, one of these days I need to pull it out and show you what I have in here, but not today. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a tote on top of those, get my uh, box out of the way. And then I have this huge box of lights that I ordered probably two years ago. And uh, I think I'm gonna move them over to the spot where I had my emergency stash. But guys, these lights are, um, I guess they're like garage lights that you hang up. And I was gonna use them as a garden setup in the basement, and I'm probably still gonna use them. And then I found this cute little box. This is, I guess, a, a folder box for papers. I have no clue what I'm gonna do with it, but it's pretty cool. It's definitely antique, something that I could put on a shelf uh, for a vintage look maybe later on. And of course, I have a ton of egg cartons. I'm just gonna get them out of way. I'll figure out where to put them later. And this chair is actually also a vintage chair. It came with a whole set. There's a couple of chairs still around, but I think I threw most of them away. And this is a box. It is an old chicken incubator. I've never taken it out. I'm kind of afraid to. It's got some uh, mold on the box, but maybe, maybe this week will be the week that I actually open it and take a look at it. So I've got a nice little space here so that I can put my Christmas decorations, but I need to move a little bit more. Um, we have some pretty big containers when it comes to Christmas. Now these heavy boxes are my daughters. These two boxes she bought specifically to put in her LP albums, her old vinyl record albums. And I'm just gonna move them on the, out of the way. One of these days she's gonna come get them. And then I have these two electric weed eaters. One is battery and the other one is actually plug-in. I, I don't know why they're still here. I just need to put them out. So here we are with the first box, the second box, and the rest of the boxes that hold our Christmas supplies.
And I even have a set of Christmas glasses that I've never opened and I'm just gonna go ahead and put them over on this shelf and get them out of the way. Uh, just some more clutter. And uh, this, was been, this has been in my bedroom and um, this is really cool. This is my mother-in-law's old portable typewriter. This is a Smith Corona. It's still in good shape. It probably needs a new ink pad or ink tape. But um, it, this is a beautiful machine, and I, goodness, I, I, I would have to say this is a good 60 years old, if not older. I am holding on to it for my nephew. He said he wanted it, and one day when he has his home, I'm going to let him have it for him to display. And this next item is also probably an antique um, but at least a good 20, 30, maybe even 40 years old. It's an old Jack LaLanne juicer, probably one of the originals, as seen on TV. It's been in my kitchen. I don't use it, so I'm just going to store it down here and get it out of my kitchen and out of the way. Our storage room really isn't too bad. It's, it's not as messy as it was once I got my mattress out of here, I was able to get to stuff and it looks way better. All right guys, so that's the end of my decluttering of my storage room. And the next project that I need to work on is getting these tomatoes out of my hydroponic systems and into their own space, but I gotta get this space cleared out so that I can do that. All right guys, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everyone have a blessed and joyous day, and I will see you on my next video.